round three or the last uh, round of the day in the August SKB tournament. So some very interesting games. I'm going to show you just three positions from the round. First one is this position be between uh, sorry, between Yatin and uh, Atan. And uh, here Yatin played a very interesting sacrifice. He played Rook to F6. When I first saw this move, I thought Yatin was daydreaming. I mean, what is he going on about? It's just a full Rook. But then uh, Atan also thought a lot and he didn't take it. Then I just calculated and saw that it's actually a very sound sack. If black takes it, then it's checkmate. Queen takes and rook g3 is mate incoming. So it was a very creative sacrifice by Yatin. But the mistake he did was he kept on going. Sometimes it's a good idea to step back. But he insisted on the sack and he played rook takes h6. He wanted to sack the rook today. And uh, the problem with that is now you're down a full rook without enough play. King g8, queen takes, and I would like to say that Atan played a masterful defense here. I mean, all the moves were ex excellent. The defense was excellent. The ideas. Not the moves itself. <clears throat> he got his rook e to e6, queen g5, which was forced because he didn't want to exchange one more rook. So, queen g5, king f8, and Yatin, of course, cannot exchange rooks. He came back. Let me just flip the board. Then it becomes easy to see how Atan defended Queen h5. So Yatin is trying to create play, but with one rook down, it's very difficult. And Atan forms a very nice plan of escaping to the queen side. King e7 allowing queen f7 or rook f7. But the king is now safe. He just has to deal with these two pawns. But behind the pawn, there's a king. So it becomes difficult for Yatin to push them that easily. This is a very nice move. Rook b6. Excellent move. So the problem for Atan is basically the queen is out of play. By playing rook b6, which looks like a silly move, because if you want to take the pawn, you can take it. But of course, Atan wants to, def to defend here. The pawn is insignificant. He's a rook up. So he plays rook b6. Now, see the position after five moves and see how things are different. He got his queen back. Queen h8. King moves. Queen check again. King moves. Rook f6. This position. So he's got all his pieces on the king side and his king is tucked away safe in the corner. I would have loved to see him play a move. Uh, he played rook h6. Again, perfect move. Forcing white to defend. I would have loved to see him play rook g8, but he didn't. This would have been perfect. He just was in a hurry to exchange queens, queen f6, which is fine. And he got the queen exchange. And the problem for white is he cannot play g4. g4 doesn't do anything because on to sun. And here, Yathin could have played king f4. He didn't play king f4. He didn't want to allow rook g2, I guess. Uh, but yeah, king f4 is the best, best chance because it keeps the pawn. Now the pawn is gone. And Yathan is frantically trying to... Of course, he does, Atan doesn't fall for the mate. He makes space. Again, Atan could have been a little more professional here. By, wait. Rook check, king moves. And then rook check, I thought uh, he has to... Yeah, he escapes. Okay. okay. So what Atan was perfect. a6. a5 would have been better. a6, king moves, rook b6. Very nice move. Forcing before and then the rook comes back. Check and rook goes back. Here, Atan played a little bit, uh, what do you say, unprofessional, you could say. As in, not like a, like he didn't play the strongest moves to convert this. A very strong play would have just kept the advantage, like sat on white basically by playing rook g2. Because then you get all the pawns and the king cannot do anything. He's a rook down. Atan just tried to exchange rooks. He should have played rook g2. I mean, yeah, but he tried to exchange, he, which is fine. He's still winning, but it's a much harder win, that's all. And he did convert without much problems. He has a pass pawn. Yeah, this anybody can win, right? He even gave up the pawn, Karan, necessarily. Wasn't needed, just king f4 and, and, and win the game. But okay. Yeah, yeah, he got the king in and he did the check. Perfect. So the defense was good. Uh, could have been better in the conversion side but otherwise it was it was a good great defense and Yatin's first sacrifice was sound but the second one was just hopeful filled with hope actually so he said goodbye to a rook and lost the game can you find the winning move for Vidu here Vidu is black can you find the winning move for black 
not right now here of course rookie does very uh, normal now after check yeah here after queen takes c3 vidu has been playing bullet chess as you can see but uh, he is strong at bullet chess he could say so here he finds a beautiful finish can you find it queen queen takes pawn a queen sacrifice and then rook takes to check out now to end the day let's look at this game between bala and siddha siddhant bala is white he has got his king all the way up but he's down a pawn and he has allowed rook to so the engine gives minus 2.8 that's that's a lot of advantage just for an active rook which is which is sensible because rook is going to pick up pawns he defended passively and then can you find the next move c6 h4 and now came the <coughs> as he, here uh, siddhant is siddhant has basically trapped the king and after rook a1 check king moves rook back came the checkmate a one move checkmate for the white king in the middle of the board so it was a round filled with very interesting games and the quality of chess has been better than the first two rounds so after uh, three rounds we have i think three people on three out of three nandita atan and ambi but again any anybody else can also catch up with them there's three more rounds left a lot of chess to be played and also ambi and asmi played a very fighting game and ambi came up on top this time so let's see what tomorrow has for us